Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eric Bertram with Apex CCTV. Welcome to our video tutorial on config configuring GeoVision IP cameras to connect to GeoVision Center V2 system. Let me go ahead and fire up Center V2 system so we can see that the incoming client connection is already allowed. Uh, if you'll notice at the top, I've already allowed a, a demonstration DVR, so we do have connections uh, to the system. Center V2 is up and running for monitoring. We'll go over to the Accounts button and click that, which will bring up the address book. And I can just expand the demonstration IP camera section for you here so you can see that we do have a, a session allowed for IP camera. So we'll go ahead and close address book and minimize the Center V2 system for now. And the next thing you need to do is launch Internet Explorer and I'll log into the, to the GeoVision IP camera I've got set up. So we'll go to uh, 192.168.1.64. And of course you can use the IP address or a resolvable host name. And I'm go ahead and log in with the administration rights. Click apply. And on the left side, under the uh, available configuration settings for our IP camera, the section you want is events and alerts. That's where the IP, uh, I'm sorry, where the Center V2 settings are located. So we can expand this and click on Center V2. And I was playing with this earlier, so we already have our settings pre-populated. I need to check this activate link. Uh, of course, I've got my IP address uh, for the machine running the Center V2 software. The correct port number is entered here, the username and password. And uh, these checkboxes will prevent alerts from being sent to Center V2, which typically is undesirable. So in this case, um, I'm going to leave the M MJPEG stream enabled rather than the MPEG4 because it's got a higher resolution, which I prefer. And uh, I don't need to use any scheduling, so I'm going to leave this information blank. I'll click Apply here. And then I'll give it just a few seconds and reload this page. And at the bottom, we should see a connection status of connected. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so we're now connected to our Center V2 system. I can load up the Center V2 software again. And if we go over here to demonstration IP cameras and expand the list, and uh, I can expand this IP camera and see that it's online. And if I like to test it, I can right click on it and say, give me a live view. And there, of course, is my IP camera. So we're in business. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for using uh, Apex CCTV's video tutorials. And thank you for choosing Apex CCTV.